Hi folks. I'm Boomer. I've got a website called TheBoomerWay.com. It's designed to help baby boomers in all kinds of situations. And we're starting up a new program called Selfie Theater. Selfie Theater, we're going to cover things that just plain happen sometimes when you're a caregiver and you, you, you can't always help it. It just happens. So we're going to help you learn how to deal with some of these things. And what we're going to cover today is nosebleeds. There's a couple ways you can get nosebleeds according to the uh, WebMD. They say most of them are triggered by uh, trauma, punch in the nose maybe, or nose picking. No one likes nose picking. And uh, here's what happens if you're a boxer, you might get a nosebleed from a little punch in the nose. Or if you're a gorilla at the zoo, you might get a nosebleed that way. So you got to be careful. I've been taking care of my dad for some time until recently. Uh, when he passed away unfortunately but he had been here about a year he was uh, 95 years old at the time he had just had breakfast nice day sun is shining birds are singing and I'm uh, finishing off his breakfast clearing up the plate all of a sudden his nose starts bleeding out of nowhere his blood starts shooting out now when I was a, <laughs> a younger man I played some football played some rugby raised two sons along with my wife Patty we raised two boys we had seen some bloody noses and I had had some bloody noses but never had I seen one like this uh, I, I happened to have a wet washcloth nearby because I'd just been wiping up Dad a little bit. So I uh, took that, put it over his nose, and kind of held his nose, and started yelling for Patty to come help me. And Patty, 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 a Patty. And she came running in and said, What's wrong? She saw I was wrong immediately, got a wet washcloth, gave me the wet one, took away the bloody one, then went running off down the hall to get some more supplies. And uh, my instructions were, from her were to hold on tight as I could, not let go. She came back with some uh, ice chips, which were then put in another wet washcloth and put that kind of on his forehead and, and the bridge of his nose and held it firmly. By this time, he was getting kind of upset. He was, he was trying, to, trying to push my hand away. He was trying to breathe. But I said, Dad, breathe through your mouth. Breathe through your mouth. So he finally breathed through his mouth and things settled down. He calmed down a lot. I calmed down a lot. Patty calmed down a lot, and the bleeding finally stopped. It probably took 10 minutes, but uh, I understand sometimes you take longer than that. You just have to be patient. So uh, <laughs> I, I thought it stopped at one point and took the wet thing, and, and all of a sudden, whoosh, started bleeding again. So anyhow, finally we got it stopped. Everybody was happy. Um, so after that happened, we then took a, we had to change everything. We changed his, uh, his sheets, his shirt, all the rest of his clothes, the pillow, the bed pad. So I got him off to a fresh start. And now it was time to sit down and talk about what can we do to stop this from happening in the future. And um, that's going to be the next, the next program on Selfie Theater, Nosebleeds and how to prevent them. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.